On the same day, his top intelligence officials warned voters that Russia is again trying to interfere in the U.S. midterm elections. President Trump used a rally in Pennsylvania to defend his recent meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin. Our ABC correspondent Stephanie Ramos reports. President Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania repeated a familiar message. We're being hindered by the Russian hoax. It's a hoax, okay? But hours earlier, the president's own top national security officials telling a different story, warning voters about the Russian threat against the 2018 and 2020 elections. It goes beyond the elections. It goes to Russia's intent to undermine our democratic values, drive a wedge between our allies, and do a number of other nefarious things. That message echoed by the FBI director. Russia attempted to interfere with the last election and continues to engage in malign influence operations to this day. Just over two weeks ago, standing next to Russian President Vladimir Putin, President Trump refused to blame Russia for meddling in our election. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. As the administration continues to face criticism from both Republicans and Democrats for not doing enough, President Trump's national security team says they are taking action because Russia did interfere and they're trying to do it again. Our focus here today is simply to tell the American people we acknowledge the threat. It is real. It is continuing. Once the president returned from his summit with Vladimir Putin, he said he accepted the intelligence agency's conclusion that Russia interfered in the election, adding that others might have done so as well. The White House refuses to say who the others are. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Washington.